different way. So is it plastic? Just a plastic bucket. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's clay, I assume. Yep. All clay tile. Going from here into the basement? Yep. All right, let's take a look down there. You got your hydro control hooked up. Oh, you had your wheel ran the other way? Huh? Yeah, it won't work like that. What's that? It won't work with the wheel spun the other way. It works. Oh, on this thing? Yeah. Right. I didn't hear how it went. Yep. Oh, did we? Okay, I'm all hooked up. Fired up. I'm going to go out there and get it going in.
hydro control. This is what allows Dan to have that wireless remote in his hand. That signal passes through that basement. See that solenoid right there? Very powerful wireless system. You can go right through all that ground and in any basement really. I've never seen any any basement that ever challenged this wireless remote system. Then over here, we're hooked up to our 50E mini excavator. Hooked right off to the auxiliary ports. Switch to continuous. You guys make it look this easy or is the equipment that good? The equipment's that good. A little bit of both. <laughs> That's a pipe extraction cage right there, for those who don't know. Great piece for working in basements. All the R8s come standard with that now. Bang it in, or are you gonna? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm gonna throw my headset back on. So, what are you gonna go do now? So, I'll cut the pipe off about three or four feet above the asphalt. 
and then get the rest of the pipe out of the way, and then hit it with a sledgehammer, and that'll bring in the rest of the pipe so we don't have to restage. Cool. I guess it's a little bit easier uh, kind of doing it that way versus uh, chipping this back another six inches and pulling it out that yeah, way. Typically we can pound it in five or six inches to make our connections to it. Yeah, so this is kind of the easier way to do it, I guess, in this case. Just like that. Okay. Have a good Get one. back at the shop. Sounds good.